What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a brief overview of the rethrows keyword. Now this isn't used that often, but definitely good to know. I've come across it a couple of times over the past several years, so figured we'd do a brief overview today. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below, hit subscribe, and go ahead and open up Xcode. We're going to be working in the playground. Let's go ahead and create one. And I'm going to creatively call it rethrows. Let me just go ahead and expand it here just a bit. We can get rid of the left panel since we don't need it. And let me bump up that font size as well. So before we talk about the rethrows keyword, the first thing I'll touch on very briefly is there is a concept of throwing errors. You can uh, do it within a try catch, or in our case in Swift, a do catch block. It's a very common pattern for error handling, falling back, determining what actually went wrong in a function. Typically, if you have a function that's something like do something and we can throw an error in here, we'll say that this uh, function can throw uh, an error just like that. And essentially, rethrows extends this functionality to closures and arguments, and there's one really cool thing that it lets you do. So let's take this do something function and let's adapt it with the uh, rethrows keyword. Now, rethrows in a nutshell helps you forward an error. So forwards errors. Now, what does that actually mean? So if I have a function here and I say, let's say, go ahead and do something. Now this function itself doesn't really do anything, doesn't take in any arguments at the moment, doesn't return anything. Uh, however, let's change that. Let's actually add a callback in here. And let's say this is a closure, but this closure itself uh, can actually throw. In other words, whatever we're gonna pass in as the implementation body of this is potentially going to throw an error. Now inside of our actual function here, we're gonna go ahead and say try callback since our callback here can throw. Now, when I actually call this function, this do something function, something interesting happens. So let's see why this is yelling at me. I forgot the keyword that we're talking about. The reason this is yelling at me is because we need to say rethrows. And you'll see the second that we say rethrows, this error disappears. So let's actually figure out why that is. So when I call this do something down here, and let's just go ahead and say print uh, something. And let me go ahead and just simply run this in my playground in here. You'll notice that the compiler doesn't force us to do this in a try or a do catch block. And the reason we don't have to actually do that is because our, our callback, our closure body here, isn't throwing an error. We can see something gets printed here in our uh, console, but the second that you start to do something that can actually throw an error in your callback, then the compiler will yell at us and say, hey, this do something can potentially throw an error. What the heck is going on? Please put, put this in a do catch block so we can take care of it. So um, let me think of an example. Maybe we're trying to decode some JSON in here. So maybe we say JSON decoder, try to decode some data uh, or try to decode perhaps a string from some data. And the data I'm just gonna create up here in this example, it'll just be, you know, just some empty data like so. And the second that we do this, let me just clear out my console. And if I give this a pause and I try to run it again, now we start to see something weird. It says call can throw, but doesn't uh, isn't marked try. So the two benefits of the rethrow keyword is if your closure here uh, will actually throw an error. In, in other words, if you're trying to do something in here, usually using the try keyword, it'll yell at you. But in your closure, if you're not doing anything with the uh, throw or try keywords, you don't actually need to do this in a do catch block. Now this is conversely opposite from if we had another function here, which was let's say go, and we just said this function can throw. Even if we don't throw an error in here, we cannot do this like this because the compiler is gonna say, you've explicitly marked this function uh, to potentially throw an error. So rethrows allows you to forward an error from another scope, in this case, a closure here. And rethrow also allows us to selectively uh, do the uh, wrapping calling function or call the wrapping calling function within a do catch block if it's needed. So in this case, our JSON decoder decode method can actually throw an error. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is drop this guy inside of a do catch block. And of course, in our uh, catch example, 
we'll actually get our error. And if I go ahead and actually run this, we should in fact see an error. And uh, let's see, we have uh, something yelling at me. We have do something. Ah, we need the try keyword, of course because we're gonna basically be forwarding the error that's thrown in the closure up the calling chain back to the do something uh, call, which will in, uh, conversely basically, or as a byproduct, I should say, forward it to this do catch block. So now if we go ahead and give this a run, we expect to see our uh, error get dumped out here, which is of course a decoding error. It's not able to decode a string because we're passing in just some nonsense data. So that is the rethrows keyword in a nutshell. It's very simple in my experience, not very commonly used, perhaps common when you're writing SDKs and libraries, which the vast majority of people are not, but Nevertheless, something good to know and pick up on along the ways. Now you can be cool in all your Xcode projects and iOS, macOS apps and use the rethrow keyword. So that's all I've got for you guys today. If you haven't done so already, drop a like down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in future videos. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and into iOS and want to stick around. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.